to remain in South Korea to this day. Well, wow, there's a new warning from the FBI now. Closer to home, your response to a certain email could cost you thousands of dollars. The FBI saying online scams are out of control. They're growing by the week. And the scammers are far more sophisticated, and the feds say everyone is a target. Richard Kolko is a special agent with the FBI. And, sir, good morning to you. Good morning, Bill. Uh, there are nine that the FBI, nine scams the FBI details in its latest warning. I want to talk about four of the most popular. The first one is something called a million-dollar scam. How does this work? Well, Bill, I'll explain. The, we'll go through the four different scams that you want to talk about. But there's a common thread between all of them, and it, it really is more than nine. They're trying to get your personal information so they can do identity theft, and they're trying to find a way into your bank account so they can steal your money. The, the one you've asked about, the million-dollar one, is, gee, you get, a, you get an email that says you've won a trip, you've won a, a, a contest at the Oprah Winfrey Show, uh, you know, you've been sitting at home waiting for something good like this to happen. Well, the good part is you've got the email, and it says there's better things for you if you just send your money down the road. So they're trying to get your personal information, or they want you to purchase an airplane ticket, some hotel reservations, send them the money now. Obviously, there is no uh, re reward at the end of this scam, and you are just going to be out that money and potentially a victim of and identity they, theft. They scam you when they get you. <laughs> you're, you're no problem. They clear your throat. It's no problem. Uh, when they get that personal information, that's when they got you because they can take and do whatever, whatever they want to do with it. Now, there's a grandparent scam out there uh, where an email will be sent to a grandparent that says, Hi, it's your favorite grandson. How does this work? This is just an extension of many years ago when it was when the elderly people were more susceptible to the telemarketing scams. Now this is going on to email and the internet and all the information, <clears throat> pardon me, that's available on the internet now. So you can find family information about an elderly person who probably has some grandchildren. They're sending an email or usually actually picking up the phone, usually from another country. The connection isn't so good. Hi, Grandma. Um, I'm in trouble up here. My car broke down. I lost my wallet. Can you help bail me out? Grandma may be uh, temporarily uh, confused, not sure who she's talking to, and have, in many cases have wired money to these people. Yeah, and that's when they've got you, too. There's an FBI scam out there. I mean, you know about this. What's happening on that? Uh, I, I think I've been uh, used in, in, in several of those. What happens now is you receive an email, and what the, uh, the bad guys have done is they have taken a look at FBI press releases or letters or documents and have taken actual names of FBI uh, employees, uh, the director, the deputy director, and they're sending you an email that where the FBI director is vouching that this is accurate. You can, this money that is waiting in Africa is waiting for you. All you have to do is send your bank information again or a small check and this reward, this uh, inheritance. Uh, this windfall will come your way. Again, just another scam. Indeed it is, and a lot of people have been getting this for about a year now, if not more. And I mean, if you fall for it, you're a sucker. Don't do it. And if you Correct. see an attachment or if you see somebody that sends you an email and you can't identify the return address, by golly, don't open the attachment. And don't even respond That's to correct. that email. If they really want to get a hold of you, they'll figure out a way. The last one, I think this is the most insidious. The mystery shopping scam. When you consider that people are online already buying and purchasing items, this is where they get you. Explain that. Well, this happens uh, various different ways. What they do is they want you to purchase items, whether at a, at a brick-and-mortar store, on the Internet, um, through an auction, a, a fraudulent auction, and they send you a check. Here's a $2,000 check. Please go buy these five items and then ship them to us. And by the way, if it doesn't cost the full $2,000, wire us the money. So people will go deposit that check into their bank account, forgetting there's maybe a week or two week uh, hold on that money, go over to the store, purchase those items, put them <clears throat> in a shipping company, send them over, send the $500 extra money, and then the end result is the check doesn't clear. Yeah, so they cooked. are out that entire amount yeah. of money. Uh, listen, thank you, Richard, for coming in today. Two takeaways from this uh, particular segment, though. Uh, if you get an uh, email from somebody you don't, can't identify, don't respond. And once they get your personal identification information, uh, you're toast. So don't do it. Richard, thank you for coming in today. By the way, foxnews.com, much more on this from the FBI today. Richard, thanks. Well, you can add immigration reform to the president's growing to-do list. Mr. Obama due to meet with a bipartisan congressional group today.